Is this sentence correct? Last year, our company forecasted an increase in rents. Not sure about how to use irregular verbs? You've come to the right place. If you're new to our channel, I'm Jenny from Real Estate English Academy. We offer courses and videos full of vocabulary, expressions, and tips that you can use to improve your English for real estate. In today's lesson, we'll look at 20 common irregular verbs that are used in real estate English. And I'll show you how to use them correctly. And please let me know in the comments if there are any words, vocabulary, or grammar in this video that you'd like me to explain or talk about, and we'll cover it in one of our next videos. Let's start with a quick grammar review. To create simple past and past participles in English, we typically add the ending ed to the base form. Let's use the verb explain as an example. The simple past is explained and the past participle is explained. Grammar rules are not always as straightforward as we would like them to be. To help you out, I'm going to give you 20 common irregular verbs and show you how to use them correctly. Ready? Let's go. Okay, first up is verb one, buy. The base form is to buy. We are going to buy a retail asset this quarter. The simple past is bought. The fund bought three office assets last year. The past participle is also bought. To date, the fund has bought three properties in Spain. Now on to verb to, choose. The base form is to choose. We need to choose between the downtown office property and the one in the CBD. The simple past is chose. The landlord chose not to extend the lease with the tenant. The past participle is chosen. The tenant has chosen to renew its lease. Verb three, fall. The base form is to fall. We expect take up results to fall next quarter. The simple past is fell. Real estate prices fell last year. The past participle is fallen. Rents have fallen since the start of the crisis. Now on to verb four, cost. The base form is to cost. We expect retail space in downtown San Francisco to cost more than retail space in Silicon Valley. The simple past is cost. Utilities cost less last year. The past participle is also cost. Service charges have cost less in the past. Verb five, grow. The base form is to grow. We are planning to grow our portfolio over the course of the year. The simple past is grew. The economy grew year over year. And the past participle is grown. GDP has grown significantly this quarter. Which brings us to verb six pay. The base form is to pay. The tenant does not want to pay for structural repairs. The simple past is paid. We paid the purchase price on time. The past participle is 
also paid. Sorry, we haven't paid the invoice yet. Verb seven, spend. The base form is to spend. The client does not want to spend more than their budget. The simple past is spent. We spent one year researching the market before investing. And the past participle is also spent. We have spent a significant amount of time on building inspections. Verb eight, build. The base form is to build. The property developer is planning to build a speculative logistics property. The simple past is built. The retail property was built in the 1990s. The past participle is also built. This year, the property developer has built 10 office assets in Madrid. Verb nine, cut. The base form is to cut. The tenant is planning to cut its office space requirements at the end of the year. The simple past is cut. Our department cut costs last year. The past participle is also cut. The service charges have been cut in half. Next up is verb 10, lend. The base form is to lend. The fund asked the bank to lend it 50% of the acquisition costs. The simple past is lent in British English and loaned in American English. The bank lent or loaned us $65,000 for last year's acquisition. The past participle is also lent in the UK and loaned in the US. The bank has lent or loaned us the money for a down payment before. If you're interested in the difference between the words lend and borrow and how to use these terms correctly in English, you can watch this video here to learn more. On to verb 11, rise. The base form is to rise. Prices for office assets are starting to rise. The simple past is rose. Prices rose sharply last year. And the past participle is risen. Interest in office properties has risen this year. Verb 12, beat. The base form is to beat. We plan to beat the market with our investments this year. The simple past is beat. We beat last year's transaction figures. And the past participle is beaten. Our competitors have beaten us when it comes to execution. Verb 13, hit. The base form is to hit. We expect take up levels to hit the previous year's impressive results. The simple past is hit. Rents hit a record high last year. And the past participle is also hit. The crisis has hit the retail sector hard. Verb 14, draw up. The base form is to draw up. I asked the legal department to draw up terms and conditions to bring to the negotiations next week. The simple past is drew up. We drew up a contract draft for you to review. The past participle is drawn up. Our legal experts have drawn up 
on agreement. And now on to verb 15, split. The base form is to split. Do you want to split the bill for lunch? The simple past is split. The landlord and the tenant split the costs. And the past participle is also split. I have split the presentation into six parts to make it easier to understand. Verb 16, break. The base form is to break. I don't want to break your concentration, but I have a question. The simple past is broke. The landlord broke its promise and did not replace the outdoor lighting. And the past participle is broken. The CCTV equipment has broken down. Verb 17, run out. The base form is to run out. Let's get on with the meeting. We don't want to run out of time. The simple past is ran out. Our client ran out of money halfway through the construction process. The past participle is run out. Many investors have run out of new investment ideas. Verb 18, ride out. The base form is to ride out. All we need to do is ride out the current market trend and we will be fine. The simple past is rode out. Because we had enough cash reserves, we rode out the downturn last year. And the past participle is ridden out. Investors have ridden out the high interest environment. Verb 19, outshine. The base form is to outshine. He knows how to outshine the other speakers at a convention. The simple past is outshone. We outshone our competition last year. And the past participle is also outshone. We have outshone our toughest competition time and again. And last but not least, on to verb 20, which will take us back to our example at the beginning of this video. Forecast. The base form is to forecast. My job is to forecast market trends for the coming year. The simple past is forecast. The economy was forecast to recover next year. And the past participle is also forecast. Market research has forecast another boom year. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications if you've got value out of this video. And leave us a like or a comment, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.